What's going on guys, Telzity6 here with a weekly review, and today guys, we're going to be doing the first section of our first Tales 86 plays. Now guys, this series is basically going to be about me playing a certain game, just any one of them that I can think of uh, that would be a good game to go ahead and show off, and it's basically going to be me just showing off the game, uh, sometimes talking random, or at least trying to and just playing the game and seeing how I can succeed. So today we're going to be playing a Star Fox game, but we're not going to be playing just any Star Fox game. We're going to be playing one of the most sought after Star Fox games ever made, which is known as Star Fox 2. Uh, a very unreleased game that a lot of people wish that Nintendo would eventually remake, or not even remake, just bring out. Because I mean, come on, this would be amazing having this on even the Wii U Virtual Console. I mean, come on guys. This is a fantastic looking game. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, we're gonna head into uh, the normal stage first. And of course we have Endross, who of course in this game, uh, for anybody who does not know, is of course your villain, as he always has been in most of the series. So basically we're gonna have battleships and rockets and missiles to try to go after. And then we have General Pepper Hair. Okay, so of course now we have uh, our selection screen where we have all the different characters. Of course we have Fox, we have Falco, we have Peppy, Slippy, and then two other uh, characters that were never introduced uh, into the Star Fox series unless if you played this game, which is Mew and Faye. So we're actually going to be playing as Star Fox. And we're gonna play as Faye. Good luck. Now, one thing I will say about with this game, even though that it does have little drops in frame rate, I mean, you gotta guys remember, this was a game that was made on the Super Nintendo back in the day, and Super Nintendo games didn't have to require like any kind of special uh, 60 frames per second or any of that kind of junk. So, anyway, basically the way to control this is, uh, of course, I'm using an emulator. I'm not a person that usually emulates games, but uh, I'm using a 360 controller to control this. You just move your analog stick or whatever you program it to, and I have it programmed to map exactly to the uh, Super Nintendo's controls. So we're going to first go after this rocket. Actually, you know what? We're going to go after that one first. So let's go ahead and take it out. So, again, whatever you have mapped to your uh, buttons, just uh, take out what it is on the screen and make sure to boost. And I'm just failing really bad right here. I can't even nail this. Well, that'll work. I don't always like using the charge shot. I mean, I know that a lot of people go ahead and say, like, hey, use a charge shot, but I mean, it's also kind of hard, too, uh, the way with the uh, the way that this game is set up and everything. So, in an actual way, also, uh, this game is literally uh, remade, in a way, if you think about it, as uh, Star Fox Command is now. I only played a little bit of Star Fox Command, uh, and I sadly never got myself really into the game, uh, so to say. But the reason being, of course, was because I didn't like the way that the controls were. Uh, I didn't like how just everything seemed to change, in my opinion. But I mean, I know that everybody's different about certain games, and I'm not going to go ahead and criticize, really, with the way Nintendo's decision was on making that game. But I mean, everybody liked it, so for the you guys that do like it, enjoy it. For you guys who don't, well, I mean, try another game. So. Next, we're going to head to the Meteor. So let's go ahead and head on to the Meteor. And basically, we're going to have to get into basically... Oh, no! We're going to be having to face off against somebody from Star Wolf. It's Pigma! You can't beat me! I've got a better ship! Yeah, I'm sure you do, Pigma. Well, there's one hit on you. There's two hits on you. Heh. <laughs> That was just the beginning. Wrong. Beaten by these punks, I've gotten rusty. Uncle Andros! Actually, no, that would be, uh... Crap, what character would that be now? 
Andrew, yeah. Andrew Oikany. Actually, you know what? What am I doing? I need to go over here. Go to the meteor. Because now we have to go in and uh, basically turn off some switches. And with this one, the switch is actually unknown. So we'll have to go ahead and find it. So the best portion of this game has to be when you transform. I believe that this is my absolute favorite thing about this game. Now, I know that there's a lot of people out there that are probably looking at this thinking like, oh my god, this thing's got to be so horrible to control. The camera's got to be horrible. No, it's not. Like, the camera for this is actually fairly decent. Uh, and remember, this is on a Super Nintendo game. So, even though there are frame rate drops uh, in this game, the game still plays, I mean, amazing. I mean, it really does. And I'm honestly stunned on why Nintendo did not release this, because, I mean, Super Nintendo games, uh, they had some very hard difficulty. And, I mean, I would love to have had an actual retail copy of this game, because, I mean, it's just fantastic. I mean, being able to switch any time you want to basically just rolling around and everything. Now, I mean, in this actual form, you don't have any way of, uh, doing a barrel roll or anything like that with barrel roll, barrel roll, do a barrel, barrel roll. Yeah. I'm sorry guys, it's, it's Star Fox, I mean, come on. We, we have to say, we have to say the barrel roll thing at least one time. So, uh, we pulled that switch down, so let's go ahead and head into here. And this should be, uh, one of the, uh, first generators, no? No, we got another one, wait. Take that thing out. Whoa! Got rid of him. Good. Ooh! We got a special item thing. Yep, special weapon. Whoops. So, now guys, we can head in here and take out this generator. Took a little bit longer, but that's okay. Still, I'm pretty happy about it. And we're gonna probably do uh, we're gonna probably do one more of the uh, switch ones uh, before we go ahead and cut off this uh, portion of the uh, Tales of Six plays. Because uh, remember, guys, uh, I'm not doing this as a, a let's play or anything. This is just me, just randomly playing a game and uh, just talking with you guys and just. Trying to have some fun, so I mean, for any of you guys that watch, uh, feel free to laugh if I fail any bad, because I know I'm going to fail sometimes, especially with a Star Fox game. I mean, I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to Star Fox. I know of some people that are, though. I know of some people that literally uh, live and breathe Star Fox. Uh, I, sadly, am not one of those types of people, and I don't plan on being, um, which I am kind of sad, though about the, uh, the recent interview that Shigeru Miyamoto had uh, recently. It was basically like him saying that in no way at all is there any uh, possibility of a new Star Fox game being made, which that kind of upsets me because Star Fox is a game series that many of us Nintendo fans have been wanting and it's just, it's, it's really sad because another thing that brings me up to speed or excuse me, another thing that brings me up to uh, thinking this is that there was a uh, message I went ahead and saw from a good friend of mine named Jason Clark, uh, who is a real good friend on me, a friend of mine on Facebook, and he sent me uh, basically, guys, a uh crap, I'm turning it around. Let's go ahead and try that again. Uh, he basically sent me a uh, little form message from a very, very hardcore -ish Nintendo fan saying that we Nintendo fans are very uh, apologetic. We should not apologize to Nintendo as much as we have for the way that they've been doing games. Like, say, for example, uh, the way that Mario games are made now. Uh, for us being in the year of 2013 
and Nintendo is still not adding any kind of online multiplayer of any sort to any of their Mario games. Uh, well, of course, Mario Kart 8, but I mean, I'm talking about like actual 3D Mario or even the new Super Mario Brothers series. I think that that is kind of a bad thing because it makes it so now, I mean, that we are, I mean, again, we are guilty of being too apology based to Nintendo. And it's sad, but anyway, next we're going to take out this Mirage Dragon. Wow, he was nothing. <laughs> he was nothing. That was pretty awesome, gotta say. That was really awesome. And I'm not gonna worry about that next missile because those guys should be able to take that out. Yep, as I thought. So now we're going to head into the last one, and then guys, we're going to uh, go ahead and take off for this section of the first of our uh, Tales 86 Plays series. And I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying this series uh, for the first timers. And if you guys want to see more of these, uh, it'll make it so I'm not just doing first impressions all the time, because, I mean, I know that some of you guys are fans of my first impressions, and I know some of you guys are waiting for reviews. I will eventually have reviews up. I have been working on uh, trying, of course, to still get better and everything around the time I'm recording this. Uh, this is about five or six days after uh, I put up that video. So, um, just, yeah, like, guys, I'm starting to get better. I mean, I can feel it, like, the medicine that I'm having to take and everything is, it is helping me. And that's a good thing. I mean, you guys can still tell a little bit that my voice is still a little bit scratchy, it's still a little bit messed up, but, I mean, literally, it has to hurt if it's to heal, is an old saying, and that's a true saying right there. But, I feel like the medicine is really helping, I mean, I have felt a lot stronger, and I've been gaming a lot more. Uh, I remember before, like, the first day I came home, I was like, dude, I can't even lift up a freaking controller. <laughs> And I felt pretty bad, and that's that's pretty bad for me, because I mean, usually even if I'm just a little bit sick, I can even hold a controller in my hand. But from that, I couldn't do anything. Like I mean, I just felt so drained, and it was just not even cool. So guys, we're going to take out this last generator, and we're going to be well, whoops, ha ha, we keep messing up. It's because of the way the camera was. All right, there we go. And bam! So guys, uh, this ends the first section of the Tales 86 Plays series, and I really hope to see you guys back for another portion of the series. Uh, I'll be picking another game, uh, hopefully a really good one this time. Uh, until then though, this has been Tales 86 with a new series known as Tales 86 Plays, as we played Star Fox 2. So guys, thank you again for watching, and as always, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And until then guys, have a great one. Take care, later.